Hey, sports better. Yes, you. Guess what? Your favorite sports book, BetUS.com, is back for its 28th year of NFL action. So, here's what you got to do. Just click the link below in my description box and sign up today. BetUS.com, where the game begins. Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Outta My League. I'm Nick Diaz. So I recently graduated from college. So I remember the school days a little bit you know, better than some of you who are a few years older than me. And I often heard most of my life that from teachers, from coaches, from parents, mine and other parents, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Learn to get out of your comfort zone, Nick. You got to learn to get out of that comfort zone. That's how you learn. That's how you grow. That's good advice when it works. Because in some situations, your comfort zone is there for a reason, okay? If you don't feel comfortable around a certain person, well, then you shouldn't probably be around that person. You're just making yourself miserable for no good reason. If you have good friends right now, well, why do you need to leave them to look for different ones? If you're a a couple and you're pregnant, well, maybe moving to a different city to get away and get outside your comfort zone, away from your family and friends, eh, maybe that's not such a good idea at this stage in your life, all right? There have been plenty of instances in my life where I went outside of my comfort zone and there were just as many times that it turned into something bad just as it turned into something good. It's there for a reason. That's why I'm not anti-comfort zone. There's a reason it exists. And that's why I believe Brian Kelly will name Jaden Daniels his starting quarterback for the opening drive against Florida State. This was Brian Kelly Saturday after the scrimmage. Look, I wouldn't be surprised if they both get the opportunity to play at some time this year, but we're going to have to name a starter, and that's going to happen here pretty quickly. Both will play, and we have to make a decision soon. That decision might be on Tuesday. Now, he sounded frustrated. I don't know if he is, but to me, he kind of sounded frustrated because we know since the end of spring, he does not want to play two quarterbacks, okay? He's made that very clear. It's not ideal. He's done it before. This will be the fourth time, but he doesn't want to. But LSU is going to have a two-quarterback system this season, okay? Just get your head around it. You don't have to like it. Hell, I'm not even sure I do. But that's what's going to happen. And Brian Kelly explained why to LSU broadcaster Emily Dixon after the scrimmage as well. Well, they're both really good football players. They both make plays. You know, you're really splitting hairs, I think, you know, in terms of deciding who's the starter. Uh, Both are capable. Both of them have had really good camps. Um, It's it's hotly contested. And, look, it wouldn't surprise me if both ended up playing this year, you know, and contributing to success, no doubt. You're splitting hairs. It's a tie. You're you're, you're splitting hairs on who the starting quarterback is going to be. So, if it's a tie, what do you do in that situation? Well... Typically, not always, but typically, the tiebreaker usually goes to the veteran slash upperclassman. In this case, that would, of course, be Jaden Daniels. He has 30 starts. Nussmeyer has zero. Jaden Daniels is a fourth-year junior. Nussmeyer is a redshirt freshman. But more importantly, it's not just the quarterback position that you have to worry about. It's also the offensive line. You have a center who's never played a center before. You have a left tackle who's a true freshman. You have a guard in Miles Frazier who played left tackle last season. And then now you have a guard in Anthony Bradford who's probably going to play right tackle this season. You can see my concern. You can't have an inexperienced quarterback breaking them in in the first half of games. You can't have an inexperienced quarterback and offensive line, especially ones that do have experience are playing different positions. I don't care how talented they are. That's usually not a recipe for success. Now, I like the offensive line going forward. I think they have a higher upside than last year's offensive line. And I trust Brad Davis after the first month to kind of get them going. But you need a proven steady hand to guide that in the early part of the season. Jaden Daniels can provide stability to that. I would say probably management of the offense in terms of getting people lined up, getting the offense running smoothly, efficiently. I think the guys feel a sense of um, calm when he's out there because he's done it before. It's getting guys lined up. There's there's a authority. I mean, the way he talks to the guys out there, 
you know, we call it clap, which is clear, loud, as an order, uh, and then there's a pause, you know, the, the acronym CLAP. So Jaden Daniels has the clap. I'm sorry. That, Brian Kelly just walked right into that. Yeah, I had to take the bait. I'm sorry. But I get it. Management. Experience. Managing the games. 30 games of doing that that Jaden Daniels has. Something Nussmeyer doesn't. At least yet. But there's nothing wrong with that. There isn't. Look, as many questions and criticisms that I have of Jaden Daniels in the intermediate passing game, I think he's a great deep ball passer. Obviously, he can run. And there's nothing that I've seen from all the games that I've rewatched, all the cut-ups that I've uh, found, you know, scouring the internet. There's nothing that I've seen that's led me to believe he makes bad decisions. Now, passes may have gotten away from him here or there, but he always seemed, you know, cool, calm, and even killed, even under duress. Never saw a lot of dumb mistakes or mental collapses or brain farts. All right, Jaden Daniels appears to be a smart guy that stays cool. And if Brian Kelly believes both quarterbacks should play, then you need to start the guy who has seen it all. He knows who's seen it all, and that's Jaden Daniels. And you put your younger quarterback, Nussmeyer, in easier situations in games to break him in. If you think that's what's best, then you do it. And I think that's what Brian Kelly will do. Does he say that on Tuesday night after practice? Maybe so, maybe not. But you asked Miles Brennan to come out of the portal for a reason. And then you got Jaden Daniels out of the transfer portal for a reason. You needed a steady hand. You needed a comfort zone. Everyone needs one. And I trust that Brian Kelly knows how to use that comfort zone. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok in the description link below.